boys and girls, and welcome to our Sunday School Time together. I want to remind you that we are in the season of Lent. If you are unsure about what Lent is or would like to join us on our Lenten journey to Easter, please join me each Wednesday night at 6 p.m. right here on YouTube or Facebook. Each week, I will give you a new suggestion or task for you to complete that week. As we go through our journey together, we will be preparing our hearts for the blessings of Easter. But today, we are going to hear about a time when Jesus healed 10 lepers. Not lepers. Ow. There's a big difference. Lepers were people that had a horrible disease called leprosy. It caused big nasty sores all over their body and sometimes they would lose their fingers or arms or even go blind from it. When people had leprosy, they were thought of as unclean and usually cast out of town. But before we see how Jesus interacted with them, what do you say we learn a Bible verse? <laughs> so today's memory verse for our memory verse challenge comes from Luke 17, 15 through 16. Let's read it together. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. That's a long verse. And what do we do when we have a long verse? We chop it in half. Today, we will focus on learning the first part. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. Okay, let's start. We will start by saying one of them, hold up one finger. When he saw that he was healed. Now, the American Sign Language sign for healed is to take your hands and grab them at your shoulders and pull out like this. So when he saw that he was healed, turned back. Let's turn our heads real quick. He turned back. And what did he do? He praised God. So praise God like this with a loud voice. Project your voice. Let's try it from the top. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. Luke 17, 15. Great job. We'll be back a little bit later to see if this is stuck in your brain. But now it's time to get up out of your seat and on your feet for today's wiggle break and worship song. Now that we have our wiggles out, please sit down and enjoy the show.
After months of demonstrating his power and authority through miracles, casting out demons, forgiving sins, and preaching the good news of the kingdom of God, Jesus began to make the slow journey back to Jerusalem. One day, he stopped in a small village. As Jesus arrived, he was met by ten lepers. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us, they cried in unison, their voices hoarse with disease. The lepers stood just far enough away to keep their infection from reaching him, but close enough that the smell of open sores and rotting flesh was almost noticeable. Their deformed bodies told the story of suffering, shame, and loneliness. They were of all men most miserable, most wretched. Anyone else would have turned their head and quickly walked away, but not Jesus. He stopped to hear them and acknowledge their pain. Then Jesus said the most peculiar thing. Jesus commanded them, Go and show yourselves to the priest. It was an odd thing to say, because they had already presented themselves to the priest, and he had declared them unclean outcasts. Unless their condition miraculously changed, there was no reason for them to return. But they did what Jesus commanded, even though it did not make sense. As they began to walk away, something miraculous happened. The body of each man was transformed from a hopelessly disfigured leper to a picture of perfect health. Arms and legs grew back where they had once been missing. Scaly skin took on a smooth and youthful appearance where it was once filled with sores and scars. And where there had been blindness, complete vision was now restored. We are healed! Their voices rang in youthful joy at what had just happened to them. They continued toward the temple without even glancing back to acknowledge their healer except for one. This one leper stopped, looking again at his hands and feet and his new complexion. He was amazed by his transformation, and so overcome with gratitude toward the great healer, he began praising God with a loud voice. Then he turned to find Jesus still standing in the distance and ran to him and fell at his feet in worship. This true life demonstration was a lot like a parable, so Jesus began to teach its meanings with questions. Didn't I heal ten lepers? Where are the other nine? Is this foreigner the only one who returns to give me praise? You see, the others were glad to be healed, but only one returned and embraced Jesus as the one who healed. Only one worshipped him as God. Then, with the same compassion, mercy, and love Jesus had spoken with when he healed the diseased men, he addressed the one grateful man, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Only one leper returned and praised Jesus. In what ways did he glorify God and his thankfulness? Well, for one, he showed appreciation. The one leper was grateful and took action to show his gratefulness by returning to the healer. He also adored and worshiped Jesus. The one leper's response in worship was to audibly praise him and fall to his feet in worship. Lastly, he obeyed. The other nine lepers obeyed the command of Jesus to go back to the priest. But the tenth leper showed himself to Jesus, the great high priest, where he obtained mercy and found grace. His entire life was transformed forever. But how can we obey Jesus today? Jesus teaches us that the greatest commandment of all are to love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your mind. This is the great and the first commandment. And the second is like it. You should love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. So maybe we can obey Jesus by loving God and loving each other. That brings us to our big idea of the day. We should be thankful and glorify God for each blessing he gives to us. When we show our love and thankfulness to God for all that he gives us, it makes room for more blessings to come our way. 
What do you say we go back and see if we can remember our Bible verse of the day? Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. Luke 17, 15. Would you please bow your heads? Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you have the power to heal and the power to save. Thank you for dying for our sins, forgiving us, and promising to completely transform each person who places their trust in you. We love you and adore you. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. That's all for today, boys and girls. Be sure to join us next week when we hear all about a man named Lazarus. Until then, remember to use your voice to praise God as often as you can. See you next week.